Hi guys, Maria again. Um, a couple of days ago, I um, knit a set, a layer and pom pom pixie, and um, I need to make another one for uh, another client. So I thought it will be nice to show you this set. Let me show you. I'm going to show you the picture from my group. Okay, so this is the set. The layer and the pixie pom-pom bonnet. So cute. And um, uh, it will be nice to explain how I knit this set. Also, I'm gonna show you what yarn I am using for this project. And uh, if you are located in Europe, I will uh, put a link in the description below in case you want to buy this yarn. So I will come back to show you the yarn for my new project. Okay, this is the yarn I will uh, use for my project. I'm gonna show you the yarn for the layer. This is such, such beautiful yarn. It has beautiful texture actually it's my first order for this yarn ingenious big from katia yarn i am so in love with katia yarns they have so many type of yarns it's always a challenge to choose <laughs> my next yarn for um whatever project I need to make so this is a custom order this set of uh, layer and bonnet let's see the information for this yarn okay so this is the composition 60 meters or 50, uh, 65 yards These are the needles recommended 10 until 50 millimeters or 50 19 USA. This is the gauge, <laughs> but since I am not using gauge in my project, but this information is not very important for me. So I'm going to use actually 20 millimeters needles. I got this from uh, um, a vendor from Russia. I was ordering uh, some TNT yarn and I got the surprise to find this beautiful, beautiful pair of needles in my package there are wood needles handmade paint, painting uh, actually it's hard for me to use this needle but uh, usually I work with let me show you these needles from Adi. These are 25 millimeters, US 15. Okay, so this is the yarn for the layer. For the bonnet, I'm using also something from Kadia. 
air out baka and get fluff fine yarn i love it and let's see the information for this yarn this is the composition meters yards and needles recommended once again i am not working with five six point uh, six point five i am working with three point five millimeters i like the texture uh using um, a small number of needles we will start with the bonnet, which is very, very easy to knit if you are a beginner. And uh, at the end, I will show you how I make the pom-pom, how I attach the pom-pom to the bonnet. We will make simple ties using a crochet hook, but Let's start it with the cast on stitches. Okay, we will cast on fifty four stitches. We will have three stitches border at the beginning of the row and three stitches border. At, a big, uh, at the end of the row so cast on 54 this is my method you can use whatever method you like okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I will come back to you after my 54 stitches cast on I got my 54 stitches now we, we will uh, knit the first row which is the wrong side all the bonnet we will uh, knit in stockinette stitch which means the purl side we purl the knit side we will knit we have three stitches on each border for the always knit in garter stitch the border which means knit on the wrong side knit on the right side only the first three and the last three usually I slip the first stitch but this is the first row and I need to knit together with this tail for a couple of stitches to avoid uh, making a knot so knit together with the tail the first the second and the third more stitches together with the tail and then you can cut the tail okay so these are my uh, first five stitches I will leave the tail aside and continue to purl 
until we reach the last three stitches. I must tell you, from everything I knit, I am so in love with bonnets. The bonnets are my favorite thing to knit. One day I will show you my stash yarn. <laughs> I uh, still need to make some order there. I am gonna show you only the first two rows and then I will let you knitting until we reach the part when we need to end this pixie. We don't increase, we will not decrease, just knit and stuck in it stitch this is these are my uh, last three stitches oops knit these last three stitches row two the right side always slip the first stitch at the beginning of every row slip as if you purl, so like this. Then knit until the end of the row. I don't know. Um, I don't know how many rows I uh, knit for this bonnet. Always measure. But for this project, I will tell you at the end how many rows I knit before to bind off this pixie bonnet. This is the second row. Only knit. Remember the first stitch. Always slip the first stitch as if you purl. God, I hate my English. These are my last stitches. Row three, we will purl. The only difference is that we slip the first stitch on the right needle, knit the next two, our border, and then purl until you reach the last three stitches then knit those last three stitches okay so we will continue working in stocking at stitch i'm gonna show you i print printed this picture set. So we will work in stocking at stitch until we reach 30 
centimeters. I think in inches will be 5.11 inches or so. Same? Okay, I will come back after my 30 centimeters. See you later. Hi again. Well, I reached my 13 centimeters, which, which um, it will be 5.11 inches. Let me show you. See? Now we will divide onto um, two needles these 45 stitches. So on one needle we will uh, have 27 stitches like this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, and twenty seven. Let me. Put this away okay this is the uh, m the back side we will uh, bind off on the back side of the pixie bonnet this is the back side and this <coughs> sorry this is the front side for uh, my uh, 13 centimeters long I actually knitted uh, 36 rows I ended up on the right side of the bonnet this was my 36 row now we will bind off on the back of the bonnet like this Let me cut first this tail from our first row. Okay. One more needle. We have three needles now. We will do like this. Pick up the first stitch from the needle uh, the back needle and the first stitch from the front needle and knit them together easy see now release these two from the left needles so we have one stitch. Next, same. The first stitch on the back needle and the first stitch on the front needle pour together. Release these two and slip pass over this stitch and again pearl two together pass over pearl two together pass over this stitch 
put two together. This is how I bind off my all my pixie bonnets. We will work like this until we reach our two last stages. I will come back to you to show you how I make ties for uh, this pixie bonnet. I have two more stitches, same, purl together and pass over. This was our last bind off stitch. Now, at the yarn, give a little tail, 10, 15 centimeters. Make a knot and leave it like this. Now, turn the bonnet on the right side and let's make our ties so a long tail at least two meters i will crochet uh, 60 uh, chains like this In the corner this is the front this is the border like this to see here is where uh, we will attach the pom-pom so in the corner insert the hook pull up a loop you will work these two together. Make one chain, insert again, and make one slip stitch. And from now on, we will uh, make 60 chains so loose chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten same in the other corner I will come back to you after uh, I will uh, crochet my two ties. Okay, this is my 60 chain. Cut the yarn. Pull this cut here too so these are the ties now the last part of the bonnet is the pom-pom 
for the pom pom i am using something like this for different measurements i am using this one 5.5 centimeters which is this this one is too big i don't like the pom-pom to be extremely big uh, so i think this one is uh, the perfect size look still it's a newborn bonnet and uh, it's beautiful like this so let's make the pom-pom we have four pieces one actually two with these bubbles and two without so we use one without and one with these bubbles and what we're gonna do is to wrap the yarn on these two like this this will be the health of our pom-pom it's a great method to do pom-poms again I will do this a couple of times four or five time this is the second two my yarn and again come back this is my fourth time I think I will do at least three times it's really not hard to use this I think this will be my last wrapping. It's enough. the yarn and leave it aside 
This is the half of our pom-pom. Now I will make the other half and I will come back to show you how to proceed to finish our pom-pom and to attach the pom-pom to our pixie bonnet. Okay guys, so I have my two halves of the pom-pom. I will cut a yarn, um, maybe 50-60 centimeters long, a tail. And now, see, it's like a puzzle. <laughs> see, now. We will cut the yarn here. See? From here. So let's see. Gently. Until the end. I think my scissors are not good. Okay, I cut the yarn, and here we will make it like this. Put this in half and pull it through. I will make two double knots to secure the yarn. Pull tight, but gently so you don't um, cut the yarn break the yarn sorry another double knot okay let's take this off Easily. And this one too. We will shake a little bit our pom pom and adjust where you need to adjust. Let's see. One more here. Easy, easy to make. Shake it like this. So, this is our pretty pom pom. Now we will attach this pom pom to our bonnet. 
let me <laughs> clean up a little bit my table okay let's attach the pom-pom so this is the front here is where we will attach the pom-pom see and we will do like this insert the needle here and pull up now turn back like this to secure the pom-pom once again And I will do it one more time to be sure the pom-pom is correctly attached. Then I will show you how it fit in my uh, newborn mannequin. Okay. Tight. This is the yarn from the pom pom. This is the yarn from the bind off. Make knots, double knots, and then we will cut the yarn. This is one knot, this is the second, and now just we will cut this like this and let's see range a little bit let's see how it fits mannequin and our little pixie just a second This is the pom pom bonnet. This is how it fits. You can uh, um, work here less than 13 centimeters. Uh, you can work 12.5 um, centimeters. This is my pom pom bonnet. This is how it fits. Well, next um, it will be the layer. So um, I will come back to cast on with you our stitches for uh, the layer now on let's cast on for the layer the yarn leave a long tail to we will uh, cast on um, 26 stitches for this one I was uh, um, I guessed on uh, 24 but I think uh, it will work better with uh, two more stitches so cast on 26 stitches on 
15 or 20 millimeters needles. I think 20 millimeters is US 13. So let's see our 26. Don't pull tie this uh, first stitch. One. Two, like this. Two. Three. Four, until you reach our 26 stitches. I will come back and work the first row or two rows and then I will show you at the end how my layer turn out. I guessed on my 26 stitches and now let's knit the first row. I hope to manage these needles. This is my second time working uh, with them. Uh, I always knit together with this tail for about two, three, four stitches, depend on uh, how long the tail is. So this is the first stitch. We will work in stockinette stitch. Knit the knit side, purl the purl side. noise my needles I'm not comfortable with them but it was a present so I need to learn how to use them cannot use my circulars one because I don't have space here in my corner for them and also I am not used with this knitting method didn't knew it's so hard to knit in the front of a camera but I am learning <laughs> okay so I am so close to end my first row my last two stitches Oops. okay 
So this was the first row. The second row, knit. Also, I knit the first stitch. I will come back to you after I finish my rows and um, also I will tell you how many rows I need for this layer. See you later. I'm back. This is my layer. This is my last row, which um, actually is the bind off row. I work twenty five rows and this um, will be my 26th and last row so let's bind off just knit two together this is the way I bind off This is how you work until you reach the end of the row. I will let you work this row and I will come back and show you the layer and the bonnet together. Okay, so I finished my bind off. We will cut the yarn. This is all what's left from our yarn. Make a knot. Just wave it through the stitches. It's back with the layer. Here. And this is our layer. And 
the pixie bonnet not the same color but i think they are very pretty together thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope this will help you to knit your pom-pom pixie bonnet and layer and don't forget to subscribe and like I have so many projects that I want to show you so every comment like or subscribe is very important for me thank you and until next tutorial happy knitting